Namaste. I'm Archana. A warm welcome to you. Today we will be doing Surya Namaskaras, but we'll be using this like a warm up practice that we can do before any form of exercise, before our asana practice, also before going for a run. I also have a video wherein I show you how to do the Surya Namaskaras. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. So let's begin by coming to stand in the top end of our mat. We're going to keep our feet hip width apart. Reach in our hands all the way up towards the ceiling, arms and ears in line. And then we're going to fold forward, breathing out, breathe out. Knees are nicely bent. Fold forward, Pada Hastasana. From Pada Hastasana, we're going to bend our knees, rest our belly, the space between our thighs, our gaze at the wall behind you, the crown of the head in the direction of the mat. Breathing in, halfway lift, Ardha Hastasana. We're just warming up our spine. Breathe out. Again, breath in, halfway lift. Hands at the hip crease or on the floor. Anywhere that you feel comfortable. Just remember that your torso is nice and straight. You can either be parallel here or here. One thing to remember is that your spine is, there's a nice length in your spine. Breathe out. Just once more, breathe in, halfway lift, and out. Just lift my right heel up. So I'm bending my right knee, drop it down, left heel. So we're doing a couple of rounds here. Reach up and down. So when you bend one leg, the other knee is nice and straight. From Pada Hastasana, I'm going to bring my right leg and step it all the way behind. Here, drop my knee down. My left knee is stacked over my left ankle here. I'm just going to be moving forward and back. Here, press forward and back. Two more. If you don't feel very comfortable in your knee, you can always place a nice uh, towel below your knee. Place your palms below your shoulder. Come to a Chaturanga Dandasana and just move forward and back. Pull your navel in. Two. And one. Now I'm going to open my knees nice and wide. Big toes come to touch. Push my seat towards my heel. Reach my hands forward, stretch. Drop my forehead onto the mat. I'm going to stay here, breathe in. And as I breathe out, I'm going to completely collapse, trying to bring my chest in the direction of the mat. My hips in the direction of my heel, breathing in. And breathe out. Come up. Come on to your palms and knees. Now you can stay here and just drop your chest down. Ashtanga or come to lie down on your belly. Engage your toes, knees. Lift your belly off. Your chest, palm and chin is on the mat. Chin or forehead. See how you feel. Now I drop down. My palms below my shoulders. I bring my elbow close to my body. Breathing in, I come up. Just small distance and go down. You don't have to come all the way up. Again, breath in, up and down. Once more, just a small range so that your ribs come off the mat, but your navel is still on the mat. Engage the toes, press into the mat. Come onto your palms and knees. Lift your knees off the mat. Feet is nice and wide. Or you can uh, bring it together, it's up to you. Here I'm just keeping your hip width apart. Raising my heels all the way up and down. Two. Arms are in line with my ears. Three. And again, knees are nice and wide. Big toes to touch. Breathe in, my elbows are 
slightly bent more towards the outside of the mat. We're just going to rest here. Breathe in. And breathe out. I'm going to step my right leg forward. This time I'm not going to drop my left knee on the mat. I'm going to keep it stretched. I'm going to try and reach my heel back towards the mat and forward to just a variation on your Ashwasanjalasana. Stretching your calf and come back to Padahastasana. Stay here. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, Stiti. You can do exactly the same way on the other side, but I'll give you some variations here. Breathe in. We're going to be leading with our left. Now breathe in, reach your hands up. If you feel like this time you can gently sway forward, your pelvis forward, arms and ears in line. I'm still not going into the deep bend yet. We're still in our warm up. Breathe out, fold forward. My knees are nicely bent. Here. Breathe in. I'm just here on the mat, feet together. The previously our feet was apart. Here I'm going to bring my feet together. Stay in Pada Hastasana. Bend my right knee, not lifting my heel. Straighten my left. I'm going to stay here. Either hands can be on the mat or any part of your body that you can you want to hold to. Two and one and the other side. Bend your left knee, straighten your right. You can feel a stretch all along your the back of your leg. Breathe in and breathe out. When you breathe out, if you bring your belly closer to your thighs, your bent leg, you'll notice that the stretch deepens on the other side. You can also alternate. Here, one. Two. And three. This time, I'm going to step my left leg behind. Drop my left knee onto the mat. I'm just going to move forward and back. If you can go deeper, just stay here. One, two, and three. Hands come onto the mat. Come to a plank. Nice and strong. You're trying to drop, keeping your body parallel, trying to drop your heel onto the floor. One, two, and three. Knees nice and wide. Sit back in Shashankasana. If you want to walk all the way to the right side of the mat, just getting a nice side body stretch here. So your palms come onto the floor on the right side of your mat. Try to bring my forehead onto the floor as I breathe in, pushing the air towards the right side of my, excuse me, towards the left of my rib, left of my chest. And breathe out. Again, breath in. Nice expansion on the left side of my chest. And relax. Come back to center. You want you can move all the way to the other side here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Come back to center. From here, I can come to lying on my belly. Toes, knees, chest, palm, chin or forehead. Ashtanga Namaskara. Come back onto your belly. Breathe in, reach up. So we, previously we just came halfway. So we're going further. Pujangasana. Don't bring your shoulders towards your ear. Nice length here in your neck. Breathe out. Breathe in. This time my navel also comes off the mat. 
One more breath in and breathe out. Engage your toes, lift, come all the way to your mountain pose, Parvatasana. This time I'm going to keep again. My left leg is straight, bend my right knee, alternate. So you're going to try and press the other, the left heel towards the mat. Bend the left knee, press the right heel. Arms in line with your ears. Last time. Drop your knees to the mat, nice and wide. Sit back and stretch in Shashankasana. Forehead onto the mat. You know, you can also be just be on your forearms here. Chin to chest, forehead in the direction of the mat. Or stack your palms one over the other, making a fist. Rest your forehead. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, pushing your seat towards your heel. One long deep breath in and breathe out. Back. I want to step my left leg between here. Knees are off the mat. Hands can you can be on your fingertips or on your palms. I'm just going to move forward and back here. One. Trying to push my heel, right heel towards the mat too. So I'm getting a nice opening in the front of my right leg. Two and three. Pada Hastasana. If you want to, with your right, hold your left elbow, left, hold your right elbow. Just sway side to side. Hands come on the mat. Breathe in all the way up to Hastautasana. Breathe out. Hands come to Stiti. Surya Namaskaras are so beautifully designed that you can not only use it like a warm up or a cool down after your exercise, but depending on what benefit you want to get from it and how you do it, it can also be an exercise in itself to increase strength or flexibility or also if you want to use it like a cardio activity. If you want me to make more videos on how to do Surya Namaskaras in relation to increasing strength, flexibility, etc. Please write to me in the comments below. And I really hope uh, this video was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more content like this, please like, please subscribe to the channel. Namaste.